Welcome back. I'm Andrea Jean. Today we're going to be attacking this basement. It is a complete pit, but this transformation is going to feel so awesome. A ton of other things going on here today. We're going to clean out the high chair, move into the kitchen, also into our master bedroom. The stairs are disgusting and I'll take you outside, but this video is packed with way more fun beyond this. So just giving you a sneak peek here. Today's video is in collaboration with my dear friend, both here on YouTube and on Instagram. Her name is Dom Anderson you are going to love her and enjoy her. She is also a mama. She's super relatable. She's a ray of sunshine and I've just loved getting to know her more and more. And I think if you enjoy my cleaning videos, you also enjoy hers as well. I'm going to have everything linked in the description. So head on over here when you're done and let her know that I sent you. We're starting off here today with one of my newest cleaning products. This is the Geranium Scent by Mrs. Myers, and I like it. It really can make your house smell just like a garden, but I will warn you if you've never had the scent before, it's very pungent, so uh, be aware if you are sensitive to smells. Now, I want to make sure that you stay till the end because I'm going to be sharing with you a project that I have been putting off. One of my goals here is when I do my cleaning routines is I want to attack one thing that I've just been putting off and putting off, so I want to share that with you. So stay to the end so you don't miss that. Also, if you're new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. This channel is dedicated to cleaning and organizing for busy women. So if that is you, please join the community of ladies that we have going on. It is so much fun. If you enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Here I am just showing you the scraper that I use. This thing is phenomenal for getting all those uh, nooks and crannies, especially this high chair. You know how it goes. Things get stuck in there. Now you can't see how bad it is really here on film, but if you were up close and personal, it's disgusting. And I didn't even get all of it, but I figured in this situation, something is better than nothing. Also, go ahead and check out my Instagram. It's Andrea Jean One. I post on Instagram stories every single day. I love connecting with you all over there and sharing all the things going on in life outside of cleaning and organizing. Of course, I do put some fun stuff on there, but it's also just a way to really connect and just, I don't know, I love it. I absolutely love Instagram stories and Instagram. So give me a shout over there, say hi. Let's get moving and grooving here. Let's have some fun. Now, it wouldn't be a proper clean here if we didn't get some coffee to go with it. Just getting a little extra jazzed up. Time to also restock this and get it filled up for next time. I'm gonna show you here one of my favorite flavors of coffee. It's this Folgers Caramel Drizzle. Now, I know a lot of folks um, are not a fan of Folgers, but this one tastes delicious. I also just keep it here in this Tupperware container. It has worked really nicely. We used to have one of those coffee trees, but I hate stuff on the counters. My goal in my kitchen is to have minimal things on the counters, less to clean, and I just think it looks a little bit better. Um, so that's why I put it in the cupboard, and I, I really love that uh, old Tupperware container. Now we're just heading into my daughter's room to put a few things away. We're also going to head back into the kitchen after this and then back into my daughter's room. I kind of was bouncing around a little bit today here like a ping pong ball. <laughs> All right, see, back in the kitchen.
I'm just going through some artwork now that my daughter is at summer school. Now I don't save all the artwork. I'll put some of my favorite ones on the fridge or in our mudroom we have something. She got this at school. Isn't this the sweetest thing? I am definitely going to save that and put that in her special um, book that I have created for her. Just the cutest stuff here. But yeah, I definitely need to toss some of the extra artwork and papers when they are gone. It can accumulate and add up so fast. Here we are back in my daughter's room. Just going to really do a good tidy here. We're going to clean up, uh, make the bed, and then we're going to vacuum, of course. She has so many little toys. You can see they're under the bed in the little container and they love playing in here. So the carpet seems to just get pretty gunky with things and hair and cat hair. Now I am absolutely loving this carpet deodorizer. It is so fresh and it is not too pungent. A little goes a long way. to collect the dirty clothes, put those in the washing machine, get that filled up so I can get another load running. Now I'm putting away my daughter's clothes. It's been really nice recently. My husband have been tag teaming. He's been sorting all the laundry and then I've been putting it away in the bedrooms. My least favorite chore is sorting that laundry. It seems to take forever. And I know a lot of ladies, you are so smart. You'll put on a show and um, sort the laundry and do that. I work evening, so it's not something that is super feasible, but I like the idea. I think it's good. I don't mind putting it away. And I think part of it's because I love organizing it. I love cleaning and organizing, hence this channel here. So I get a lot of joy in doing that. You can see the gold circles in a previous video I showed you I bought some Elmer's glue for stuff like this and I'm not loving it it's it's stuck to the wall which was the goal but it's not laying flat so I don't know if I should just try it again to stick it on there or if I should just pull it all off completely what do you all think do you think it's worth the effort to try again or just just tear them off rip the band-aid off let me know your thoughts in the comments below we're gonna finish up vacuuming here and then we're gonna make our way into the master bedroom and get the med, the med made, <laughs> the bed made. That is a tongue twister. This is something I try to do every single day. It just makes the rest of the room feel put together. So making the bed, if I can't do anything at all during the day, if I made the bed, then I'm good to go. <music> And I'm just showing you the bottom of our stairs. See the cat hairball? She plays down here and rip rares and roars and they get stuck to the carpet. Also, I'm giving you a first-hand glimpse of all the mess going on down here. I'm glad they play down here. That's what it's meant for, but I'm not going to lie. I do get overwhelmed at the start of cleaning this up. It's just so much, so many toys, and sometimes I don't know where to start. Say hi. Hi. Hi, friend. All right, let's get cleaning. One thing that helps me with overwhelm is using these freezer bags. So these are play diapers, it's like a big, huge mess. They were in a box, but the box was getting all crinkled and crushed. So I put that in recycling and use these freezer bags. If I can put like things together, whether it's in a bin or a bag, I feel just a little bit better. And it seems that cleanup also goes well. <laughs>
here I was telling my son, please do not dump all this out. If you have kids, you totally can relate to this one. They are right behind you, just pulling everything out. It's like you've shown interest in something and they want to know what you're doing and take it out and re-explore it to see if anything's happening. But I said, not today, buddy. Not today. Play with your cars, but let me just put this house, this basement in order. I just want to feel good about it for the next 10 minutes and then you can have at it and destroy it. Isn't that how it goes? If you're watching, you can see that canvas there on the right hand side of me. We got that taken last Christmas. So it was the first Christmas in this house. Um, this is the second home that we purchased, but the first home with all three of our babies. So I want to have that picture forever. I'm excited as we get older to look back on that and just remember how little they were when we moved in and that whole experience. Now, moving into this house was very stressful to say the least. I was days from having our third baby. Um, we relocated from Minnesota here to Wisconsin. We bought this house and hadn't even looked at it in person. There was just so many variables going on. I was transitioning to working in office full time to working from home full time. So lots of memories. Here's my son. He's so cute. I love to capture these moments. You know, when they just come up, they give you a hug, they show you love. And I just love these moments. What I'm about to tell you is pretty gross, but it's real life. So, you know, I have a cat and I'll find little pieces of cat litter here in the carpet of the stairs. I love the carpet, but at the same time, it's hard to spot those little things. I feel like hardwood um, or some sort of laminate is much more sanitary, but yeah, tiny little cat litter pieces in these stairs. Happy to finally get it sucked up until next week. <laughs> with this eucalyptus mint bathroom cleaner. It says for tub and tile, but I use it on everything. I think it works just nicely. And it smells very refreshing. Now, if I had to choose between the geranium Mrs. Myers and this one, I probably would choose the geranium just because of the floral scent. This one is much more subtle, um, but it is nice. This toilet handle is a little finicky. The first time I didn't hold it down long enough so the cleaner didn't flush down. You can only imagine with little kids when they're doing their business uh, what happens. So yeah, that we, we got that situation going on with the toilet. All right, time to get the rest of this cleaned up. I feel like once I get to the mirror and then the countertops, I'm at the finish line. <music>
so here's the project that I have been putting off. You all, we got this for our wedding and we have been married for four years now, together for 15, but four years ago, this has been sitting in the box. So my goal was to open this up, really figure out where I wanted to put it, um, what were the sizing of the mirrors, and just finally do something with it. I think it's beautiful. My husband actually picked this out for our registry, and believe it or not, he completed the whole wedding registry. If you know me, I didn't want really anything because I'm not a stuff kind of person, um, but I'm glad he got this. But what I'm also noticing is that this mirror is broken. So I think replacing this glass should be pretty simple. I do have some old pictures laying around, so I'm gonna try to use that. Now, after this, I did end up ordering the pictures that I wanted from Walgreens. So I'm just waiting in the mail for those to come, but it's just been one of those projects that I'm putting, been putting off and putting off. And so it's just finally time to do something about it. So let me know in the comments below, what is one project that you've been putting off and what is your game plan to get it going? heading outside here now my air conditioner has kicked in over this voiceover so it probably sounds like a wind tunnel which means it's time for me to conclude this video wrap it up but i want you to also check out these two videos that i'll have linked here at the end for some additional cleaning and organizing motivation i think that you'll find them helpful go ahead just turn them on i have a playlist also linked in the description um, so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to check that out and bring me along with you into your own home i would love it also so again, head on over to Instagram. Let's get together. Let's connect. Take care, you all. Have a great day, and I appreciate you all so much.